So have you watched a ton of sidearm videos with all the tips and tricks and you know you hear the same things over and over again but you still have difficulty? Well this video is hopefully for you. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it simplistic so that you can have a better idea on what you're trying to do to get that sidearm. As you know, the sidearm is really useful to learn. With the backhand, you really control the center to the left side of the course. And when you get the sidearm, you then control the center to the right side of the course. So it can be really handy in saving strokes and really using the shot that's required for the specific hole. Before I give you one key tip that's going to substantially help you learn how to do the sidearm, let's just go through a few of the basics very quickly because I know you can find this elsewhere. So first let's start with the grip and again I'm going to run through these tips really quickly. So there's a two finger grip is the standard. Um, you can have it just like this. You can have it one under the other kind of stack. That's kind of the one that I'm most comfortable with. I've even seen people do three. This third finger has been mentioned to kind of, you know, give direction, help with the stability of the disc. It's really up to you. And then thumb, it's quite simple. You want to just insert it right there, nice and tight. You do not want any gap whatsoever. And again, when you're throwing, you kind of want it more pushed at the back of your hand rather than kind of forward just like that and you see you know I have that space so that's the grip next tip is going to be the front hop or forward momentum when I learned to do the sidearm that kind of came naturally to me and you'll see people doing different forward hops main point is that you do want to be moving forward you do want a little bit of a hop forward to load up that weight at the back and then moving it to the front next tip is going to be just leading with your elbow when you release so again you're doing that front hop and you're bringing that elbow through it can be a little bit tight to the body it can be a little bit outside as well it's whatever's comfortable for you but again it's almost like your elbow is coming first uh, before you release the disc so the next tip is going to be the flick or snap of the disc as well as your hips you're kind of turning your hips at the target as you can see i'm flicking using my elbow to lead and then my hips are opening through with it the next tip is going to be to keep that hyzer follow through you really do not want to be turning over your hand you want to keep that hyzer all the way through and then perhaps at the end after you've let it go you can turn over your hand this was mentioned by nate sexton uh, really play that hyzer let it flip up and then go back to hyzer afterwards. And the last and final minor tip is just to use an overstable disc. Uh, you're putting a lot of torque, a lot of flick into the disc. And if you have something that's like a, a Mako or a Wombat or something that's more for beginners, it's gonna be a lot harder to do the sidearm. And you don't need something that's super overstable, uh, something like, you know, a Firebird, very popular sidearm disc. You can use something that's a little bit less, but having an overstable disc will really help you kind of be able to put that torque and get that distance for those drives. So what the heck am I doing near this river? Well, I figured it would give you the right mental idea on how to throw a sidearm. The tip is a very simple one, but it's one that really helped me learn long drive sidearms because I was struggling for so long. So everyone's been a kid, hopefully everyone has skipped a stone off water and really it's the same idea. You're kind of winding back and you're aiming low, you're driving it low and towards the water. So, you know, next time you're at the course or in an open field, try that. Try in your mind picturing that you're throwing really low, almost at the water, trying to skip that stone. And in other words, skip that disc. And you'll notice you'll probably get a lot better sidearms than you were before. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.